Podcast and Ministry. Welcome back with me today. We are back in Living Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff, and it's with the mission of HarperCollins Christian Publishing that we get to do these devotions a few times a week. Um, today is Wednesday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo to you. Uh, and um, we're looking at devotion number 102. Uh, the title is this. Grace isn't just waiting for us, it's reaching for us. And scripture today comes from Psalm 18, verse 16. It says this. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. I love that illustration. Um, and here's the devotion for today. When sweet Maria and I go to the lodge in Canada, one of our favorite things is hosting a small group. Our invitation is just as, uh, is as simple as Jesus' invitation to his friends, come aside and rest a while. It's a little bit like adult summer camp with lots of free time. We jump off cliffs, we walk through waterfalls, and generally just get into some really fun mischief together. At the end of our time together, we have a tradition where we each take a bit of nylon cord, wrap it around one wrist, and melt the ends together. The only way to take it off is to cut it. More than merely a cute tradition, we learn this from the modern day sailors. Have you ever tried to pull someone back in the boat when they've gone overboard? Uh, because their hands are so wet and slippery, it can be nearly impossible to get a good grip. Sailors use those cords so that they have something to hold on to when it goes overboard. It's kind of a, a knot of deckhand, not a captain. It's, it's a sort of a, it's a kind of knot a deckhand, not a captain would wear. We wear those cords to remind ourselves that we are there for each other. Uh, to pull one another up when we go overboard. We're just the deckhands, not the captains of the ship. Plenty of our friends have gone for an accidental swim. Yours have too. But instead of shaming them or walking away, we lean over the rail of the boat like deckhands and start fishing for something to grab onto. That's what God does for us too. That's what grace does. God never asks us to get ourselves back in the boat as if we don't need his loving grip. He isn't waiting for us to prove ourselves. Our biggest successes don't qualify us and our even bigger mistakes don't eliminate us. He comes to us before we even know we need him. He reaches out toward us and he lifts us up if we're willing. Uh, and the reflection question for today says this, in what ways can you see God reaching out to you? I have um, always kind of giggled a little bit at those moments when I feel like I am probably inches from uh, that slippery slope that's going to lead right to rock, uh, rock bottom. You know, we've, we've all been in those situations where deep down and maybe not even so deep down, maybe kind of shallow, we're, we're sitting there going, man, this is not a good idea. This is a bad idea. Or this person is a bad idea. Or this situation is a bad idea. Or this is an irresponsible moment. Um, and I feel like so many times we just have that feeling in, in our gut and we're like, okay, God, <laughs> I'm not supposed to do this, you know, give me a sign or whatever, you know, I, I feel like we've all kind of been in that moment. And um, usually he's there to say, last chance, last stop, come on, get, get out now. Now is your chance. Let's go. Um, and sometimes we ignore it. And sometimes, um, sometimes we don't, sometimes we go, wow, that was, a, that was a close one. I really dodged a bullet on that moment um, right there. So let's pray. Um, God, you are a God of mercy. You are a God of second chances. You are a God of forgiveness. Um, Lord, I, I thank you so much for all the times um, that uh, myself included, all the times that I personally have um, turned to you, not only to say, give me a way out, um, but also please forgive me because I didn't ask you for a way out right before this happened. Um, God, I thank you so much for your grace. I thank you so much for your mercy. And I thank you so much for the support of friends that you've surrounded each and every one of us with that are there to encourage and lift us up, to grab that cord and just pick us up out of the water, uh, hand us a towel and say, I'm ready to talk when you are. Um, God, thank you for an open line of communication with you um, that doesn't require any um, any liaison or, or any middleman. God, thank you that we can have those conversations just directly with you. Um, thank you so much for, um, for all the opportunities to grow closer to you and all of the lessons that we can learn from. Uh, God, I pray all this in Jesus' name. I just, I just ask, God, that you would continue to um, not only keep extending your hand of grace uh, to grab that cord when we slip, God, but please help us to be that for somebody else. Help us to reach down and grab a hold of somebody who may need it. Um, and just be reassuring. Just help us to, to help them out of the water and hand them a towel and let them know we're there to talk when they're ready or listen. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.